Hello again and welcome to Aja's Dishes. This is a creative cooking channel where we learn to make delicious dishes together. Now as always, I want you to be part of this family. Please subscribe to this channel and turn on your notification bell so that whenever I put up a video, you will be notified. Today is going to be yet another fun tutorial. We'll be making sobolo, that is what is known in Ghana, and then zobo in Nigeria. In other words, it is also known as hibiscus drink. For this recipe, I'll be using ginger, cloves, lime, and then two different flavorings as you can see here. The first one is going to be the butter vanilla flavor, and the second one I'm going to be showing is going to be a pineapple flavor. I'm using these two different flavors because I want my drink later on to taste kind of tropical, right? I want to be on the tropical side of the world today, okay? And that is exactly what we're gonna do. So here is our dried hibiscus leaves. This is going to be our main ingredient because you can't make sobolo without hibiscus leaves, okay? So don't forget to get this from the shop, dried hibiscus leaves. I'll be using some sugar as well. Yes. We have to sweet tooth here, okay? We wouldn't want to miss the sweetness of our tropical drink. Uh -huh. <laughs> so in a large bowl, I'm going to be putting a liter of water. Yes, one liter of water because, you know, we're going to be getting a lot of extract from the hibiscus leaves. So put your water in there and then I'll be adding my dried leaves, my dried hibiscus leaves. And then I'll be putting the rest of the ingredients in here. After adding my spices, I will be slicing the slime up and then I will add it to the hibiscus leaves. It's going to boil together with it. Now I have all my goodies in there, so I'm giving this just a quick stir. And then I'll take it to the fire, boiling it over a medium heat so that it doesn't spill all over my pot. I'll be keeping this on for about 10 minutes. So at this point, I'll be straining my ingredients because I don't need the other ingredients that we had boiled together any longer, like the ginger and the other spices. We just need the extract and that is the main reason why we boiled it. So we have to strain it to get the hibiscus extract. So this is our extract. This is the main reason why we boiled the dried hibiscus leaves and the other spices together. Now the spices is doing some magic to this extract. So okay, the cloves is really hidden at the right spot. And the lime, the lime is giving this flavor that is really nice and, and comforting. Yeah, comforting. Yeah, you just had me say that, comforting. Okay. So this is the extract, so the next thing we'll be doing is to be adding our sugar. The sugar is going to be added whilst this thing is hot, okay, whilst the extract is hot because we need it to melt together, otherwise when we wait till it gets cold, the melting process is going to take longer and just waste our time. So please add it whilst it's still hot and then stir it in together. So in here I added 4 tablespoons of sugar so far, that is all that I have. So I'll be stirring this in to enable the sugar to melt faster. So just give it light stirs until you see that it has completely dissolved.
Now I've done well by mixing this in together and my sugar has completely dissolved. So at this point I'll just add in my extract before I allow it to cool. So at this point guys I want to boost my juice with some flavor okay. So I'm going to be adding 2 teaspoons of the butter vanilla as well as the pineapple flavor into the juice so we get this tropical flavor we are looking for. So after adding this, our tropical soul bolo is ready, okay, ready to be enjoyed. But then I would have to allow this to cool down, you know, to refrigerate it so it cools down a bit. And then it will even taste better. So now I served my drink and this is how it looked. Doesn't it look so attractive? I'll be sharing a tip on how I make the glass look like that because of course you know you can be on Azure's dishes and just go without getting a tip so stay tuned to see how I make the glass look like that and please go and subscribe now to get that attractive look on your glass bring out your saucer yes it's just your saucer you need and add two tablespoons of water we want to get a thin layer of water around the cup so I just dipped the glass in the water to get it wet a little bit just around the rim so just roll it as so I also gave it a little shake to take off any excess water that was left on the glass the next thing I'll be doing is to be dipping the wet glass rim into this granulated sugar yes just give it a little roll in there and then that's it that's the top of the thing that is how to make your glass look pretty yeah yeah so this is how I did it and this is how I got to make my glass look pretty enough to go with my sobolo yeah my tropical sobolo okay Looking at this is making me thirsty already. Really, seriously, it's making me thirsty. And it was so yummy, it was so delicious. I had a very good meal to complement this with. And the weather now deserves this kind of treat. So please do all to try this. And let me know how it goes in the section down there, in the comment section, of course. Please turn on your notification bell and subscribe to join the family. Thank you so much, guys, for sticking out here with me today to learn. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in my next video. Bye.